Hello there, and welcome to another edition of I Wake. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2013, and today's edition of I Wake is the Nintendo edition of the show, as you can probably tell with the Nintendo hardware in front of me. Um, so, today's show, let me go over to some news in the Nintendo realm. Uh, first up uh, is the fact that uh, every Thursday, just qu- coincidentally, as Nintendo comes out uh, of, for iWake every week, is Nintendo's eShop release day. And this week, we've got a fairly big title coming out uh, that was publicized in the latest uh, Nintendo Direct, that is Mario and Donkey Kong and Minis on the Move. It's got a lot of reviews across the net. Uh, basically, the the gist of this ten dollar three DS title um, is that it's a lot of fun. It's really fast paced and be frustrating because of its fast pacedness. That it it really is a race against the clock kind of game. But if you can get past that, uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, visually, looks great. Doesn't uh, take advantage of the 3D in a huge way, except for making it look better as HD graphics would. But overall, it's a fun game for ten bucks, and definitely worth it for many of you 3DS people out there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be picking this up, as I've got lots of titles to be going through. Uh, currently, I'm going through for the very first time the Ocarina of Time, so I've never made it through a Zelda game. I played the original back when I was a kid, but could never finish it. And I never did understand those 2D Zeldas, but I think the 3D Zeldas, I, I'm I'm really enjoying this first one, Ocarina Time 3D. And um, so, basically, with that one, I'm, I'm really enjoying just the vastness of it and the beauty of that game and being able to just explore this world that you're put in. Um, so, I'll have more thoughts as I go through this game, the Ocarina of Time. It's like a 40-hour game. So, as I go through it, I'll have more and more thoughts about it. Um, but that's what is keeping me occupied right now on that system. Um, meanwhile, we're hearing that Nintendo has announced its very first event for E3, where it'll be a big e E3 Wii U showcase of software. I'm really curious to see what they'll be showing off there. Um, I'm I, I'm anxious to see the latest Mario in 3D. Uh, what's the follow up to Mario Galaxy? That is a question on my mind, really, uh, really big time. But um, today's show, let me just spend some time, and I think the meat of the today's show should be spent upon. EA and Warner Brothers and just third-party support on the Wii U and how that is going. It's kind of a sad, sad thing that's going on right now. Um, So first off this week, we had Injustice, uh, which I actually picked up. Injustice, um, the the DC, uh, basically, Mortal Kombat game. Uh, it's a multi-platform game that I picked up for 35 bucks from Toys R Us. It's a, it's a $60 game that was on sale in a big way at Toys R Us that I was able to pick up on its last day of sale. And I've been playing through that a little bit. So it's a really good game. But um, uh, the issue is with its DLC, it advertises on the box that DLC content is going to be available, that uh, there's all these added online features that... Um, should be there because they are actually there on the P, uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version. And Nintendo has advertised these things. They have talked about these features on press events that, that are held by Nintendo. So these are things that Nintendo uh, is fully supporting and available in the eShop. You're able to do downloadable content as extra things to add on to your original game that is fully supported by Nintendo. But... Um, it was announced earlier that, uh, or not announced, I guess, just no comment on the fact that Wii U has been not getting any of this DLC content that the other count consoles have been getting. Um, but we got word today that this summer we'll finally be getting some DLC content for Injustice. So um, for me, this isn't a huge deal not having it at the same time, except for it does feel like crap being disrespected by this Warner Brothers studio of game makers that you don't show the respect that I think uh, we res- deserve, really, for buying the, that game, being treated as second-class citizens. That I am not a big fan of, but it's good to know it's coming, and 
Um, I'm not in a big rush to get the DLC content as I'm still making my way through the story mode, and I think it's plenty of fun with the content that came on the disc. So that uh, is kind of cool for that end of it. Um, that It's a good game. And uh, I'm gl- glad it came out for Wii U. I'm glad I got it at the discounted price of $35. Bucks. Um, meanwhile, um, Assassin's Creed is now 40 bucks in the eShop. So kind of matching what they've been dropping that price down to in the uh, retail stores, which is kind of cool. Uh, the big issue this week is with Electronic Arts. Now, these guys... Uh, they're, they're a pile of mess. They bought out Fireman Studios, a very popular iOS uh, developer, and really trashed a lot of their, t- their titles, Real Racing, and, uh, you know, some other things. But, uh, they're basically in a fight with Nintendo. They, they really hate each other, or at least EA hates Nintendo. They really do. They're not showing much love at all of Nintendo. They announced earlier that Madden would not be coming to the Wii U, at least the new version. I believe there's one version out already that launched with the system, but the next version of Madden won't be coming to Wii U. And that's a big deal. Um, so first off, that's happened. Uh, they've also said that their new engines, Frostbite 3 and some other things they're working on, they're not even going to bother to try to create versions of those uh, gaming engines for the Wii U. They could, but it just they're too lazy to do that. Um, and that means we're not going to see Battlefield and the bigger thing. We're not going to see a lot of the high-end Star Wars games on the Wii U. And this is kind of crappy. If LucasArts is going to license these guys out, basically the announcement, if you haven't heard, is that LucasArts slash Disney has licensed out the Star Wars brand for exclusivity for the next few years to EA. That's exclusivity. So we won't be getting um, anything from Ubisoft uh, out of the LucasArts franchise. And that means Disney has uh, given rights to uh, to EA, which they're not supporting all the con- consoles. They're not supporting Nintendo. And Nintendo, with Factor 5 and LucasArts, had some great games. They had the Rogue Squadron series, all three of them. They had several others that are top-notch games, still fun to play today, and still great graphics today. Um, but no, the current uh, situation with Star Wars Gaming is they're now licensed to Electronic Arts, uh, kind of the uh, vampire sucking the life out of the gaming industry, Um Getting, I mean, it, it's. They're, they're, I'm not a fan of this studio. They're they're not the best, um, and they're showing that by really disrespecting the Nintendo platform um, and not even trying to support it. The uh, Wii U is more powerful than the 360 and PS3, um, and uh, I'm sure those consoles will be getting uh, will be getting the Star Wars games. Uh, I'm not going to buy another system just because EA is being an idiot. If EA doesn't want my money, I won't give it to them. I'll continue playing my really old games, Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Squadron 1, uh, Race uh, Episode 1 Racer, um, and the, the countless other ones. I've been picking up all those old Star Wars games, and most of them hold up today as great games. So um, that's just something of note here that Electronic Arts is being really, really stupid, and I, I want to punch him in the face. I, I really do. Um, I'm really anxious to see the Wii U uh, develop over its lifetime. A lot of people are casting doom and gloom because it's had a slow start. Um, most consoles have slow starts. I, I just wouldn't say most, but many do. The 3DS took a long time to get... Uh, good games to it. Uh, it takes time. Uh, developing games is not an overnight thing. Uh, the same thing happened with uh, I'm, I think the PS3 had similar sales to start off with. Part of that was the $600 price tag, but um, I mean, it, it's just a, the nature of this the, the beast. These consoles last six, seven years, so um, it's not expected. For me, at least, uh, I'll have a bunch of games to choose from, but uh, there is so much doom and gloom out there about the Wii U, and I just don't get it because there's a wide variety of games uh, of all genres to, to choose from, and I have a great library of already. I've got Call of Duty. I've got Mario. I've got 
Zombie U. I've got um, Batman Arkham uh, City. There, there's a bunch of games of all genres that are available now, and these games are big games. They take a long time to get through, and I've got more games in my library now than I'll be able to get through this year probably. I've got a ton of backlog to get through. But um, anyway, I'm very optimistic with the Wii U and its uh, future of a gaming library, and I'm excited to see what E3 brings, what announcements Nintendo will have, what will Mario Kart look like, what will these other th- uh, these other um, s- games look like as they bring them to the Wii U this holiday season. This, I think, will be a huge holiday season for the Wii U as far as what games are coming out, and I'm really excited to see that happen. Um, I'm excited to see what Ubisoft is going to do. I'm excited to see what Retro Studios is going to make for the Wii U. There's a lot of third-party developers that I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the Wii U because they're good developers, unlike EA, and I'm excited to see what they do with that. So um, before I leave today's episode, um, I guess um, there's not much much more to say. (laughs) So um, thank you for tuning in to today's show. Uh, reminder, if you're a 3DS owner, uh, Donkey Kong and Mario uh, Minis on the Move is out today for 10 bucks. And as far as the other thing, the other big thing I want to just mention, Club Nintendo has announced its rewards for May. Mario RPG is available, as well as Excite Bite 3D for 3DS, which I picked up. And there's a couple others. So if you're uh, a Club Nintendo person, you have some coins Go out and see what appeals to you. And uh, with that said, I will talk to everyone again on Monday for another edition of iWeek. Tomorrow is the International Film Club. You can find that in iTunes, International Film Club Podcast. And have a good, good weekend. And I'll talk to everyone again real soon. Bye-bye.